Uh, my name is Adam McConnell. I'm the owner of Urban Evolution Baltimore, uh, which is a parkour gym here in Baltimore. Um, and I'm going to be talking about uh, viewing public space through the lens of my discipline. So, um, public space. Uh, it's pretty important. Uh, this is a picture of um, uh, Occupy, the Occupy movement here in Baltimore, but uh, it's at one of my favorite spots, uh, McKeldon, Fa McKeldon Fountain. Parkour is the art of movement in the same way that martial arts is the art of fighting. Um, it's learning how to go over, under, around, and through any kind of obstacle that may come up in your way. Now, um, this discipline is done outside. Uh, it's all about fitting your moves to your environment rather than fitting your environment to your moves or viewing your environment through your movement. Um, and uh, uh, for full disclosure, again, I am the owner of a parkour gym. This is a contrived environment to fit your moves, to train people how to move. Therefore, you can't actually do parkour in a gym um, because it is this contrived environment. The same thing applies to um, uh, parkour parks that are springing up all over the world. Um, these are, in my opinion, these are a contrived environments where you can't actually do parkour. Parkour is done outside and done in environments like McKeldon Fountain. McKeldon Fountain, like I said, is one of my favorite spots. I've been training there for almost 10 years now, and uh, I've not exhausted the limitless possibilities with this environment. But there are certain barriers to uh, parkour and uh, uh, through in the social uh, context. One of those is we get viewed like uh, uh, skateboarders, you know, but the only problem with that is skateboarders, they damage property and uh, they, they cause some other problems with their skateboards flying off. We can't do that. Most of the things that we actually climb on are things that are meant to take human weight. And like, if we can damage a handrail, oh, that handrail needs to be removed. Um, and uh, really, we don't, we, we tend to be very, very um, uh, aware of our environments. We, we check our surfaces. If, there's a if there are loose bricks, we don't climb on it. If there's, if there's a rusty pipe, we don't go on that. The other problem that we have is that the, uh, all of the movies and everything that you see people doing parkour in, they're all criminals. Um, they, they, all tend to, they all tend to be uh, wielding weapons and flying through their environment and doing terrible things. But most tracers, in fact, I haven't met a single criminal tracer uh, in 10 years. Uh, they practice parkour with the motto of be strong to be useful. And really, we also, most of us also practice Leave No Trace. This is a, uh, these are photographs of a cleanup that we did at Founder Fountain, which is uh, McKeldon Fountain's um, uh, older cousin in, uh, just behind Dunbar High School here in Baltimore. The other problem that we have is we get exposed as extreme um, uh, through video games and uh, YouTube and Red Bull's Art of Motion. Nobody ever gets exposed to the actual discipline of parkour. It's all extreme stuff. The other thing that we get is the fail videos. Um, there are so many parkour fail videos, it's not even funny. But, um, and, and this, the extreme nature of it and the terrible injuries that people get from parkour fail videos lead this to happen. Uh, uh, police officers, security officers come up to us and say, we don't want you to hurt yourself. Well, I'm a disciplined practitioner of parkour. If you don't want me to hurt yourself, stop the person jogging across the street. They're more likely to hurt themselves than me. And really, parkour is, half of the discipline is hitting the ground. Half, of the, discipline, half the discipline is getting into the air. Half the dis discipline is what you do when you come back down to the ground. Um, it's kind of an important aspect. So. There's a huge separation between the reality of what parkour is and the perception that most people have about parkour, um, jumping across the rooftops and what have you. Um, the truth is, parkour is a lot of fun. Um, uh, these are my guys, again, at Founders Fountain. This is different. This is a different gathering, too. We go out in Baltimore all the time. Um, and uh, it's very inclusive as well. Uh, we have in, at my gym and all across the country and all over the world at this point, uh, there, there are kid, there are 
kids there in Finland there's baby parkour um, and in my gym uh, the oldest practitioner in our franchise just turned 70 last year um, and in, in, in conclusion parkour builds communities that care about public space because that's the only place we can practice parkour um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so thank you